Hello everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com bringing you some breaking news information for today, October 11th, 2011. I've been following the reports on the El Hutero eruption. Uh, of course, uh, a lot of information coming in from a lot of different websites, a lot of different information or speculation. As of right now, I wanted to report to you guys that as of this time, the harmonic tremors are what is causing this possible eruption. Harmonic tremor is a cause of a possible major or minor eruption. At 4.18, this website states UTC on October 10, 2011, eruption did start somewhere close to El Hiro Volcano Island, but is inside the El Hiro Volcano System. And it says, uh, other websites say it's underwater. So far, nothing has been seen to this eruption, so location is uncertain at the moment. At the moment, this eruption has only been confirmed by harmonic tremors seen on seismometers on El Hiro Island. So once again guys those harmonic tremors are the possible cause of this fear of an actual imminent eruption. So of course they said they have uh, seen an eruption or they have uh, actually reported this eruption. So I'm going to continue to keep reading this. From what this person can tell based on the harmonic tremor plots that you will see below it seems that the eruption has been growing in size since it started well over 12 hours ago. I'm going to post this guy's website, very good website. It says this suggests that the eruption is growing in size. This also brings up the issue that new fissures might open both into deeper ocean and sh shallower depth and even land on land without any warning at all, which means on land eruptions. Guys, take a look at this latest um, activity chart and I I'll tell you this activity chart is something else. I mean, from the past 12 hours. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up so you can see a live view. I mean, this is very, very disturbing to look at this. So, folks, stay tuned. I'll try to bring you more information on this breaking news story. Now, there's a lot of speculation that this will cause a massive tsunami of up to 130 feet waves heading towards the east coast. Guys, don't, don't, don't press on that because... I don't think that's going to happen, but of course, there's a lot of speculation going on about that happening, but of course I don't believe so. But this volcano has a history of erupting and of course will continue to keep you posted. Now another website I'd like to show you guys very, very quickly is called the EMSC website. This website shows the latest earthquake activity in that area that we're watching nearby Greece and all those locations the Canary Islands, in fact, whoa, Canary Islands just got a 2.7, uh, so that's probably part of what's going on right now. So again, folks, this is a website that updates, as you see, it's refreshing itself as it updates. Now, the USGS site is not really showing all of this, so if we go to the USGS and refresh that, you won't see that 2.7, or the 2.0 earthquake we just saw, you'll see 2.7 in Alaska, but you won't see the other 2.0 that we saw just right now are 2.7 we just saw in the Canary Islands right here so I'll post this link also for this website to track the latest earthquakes again this is the best updated website I've seen so far that has not hidden any information from us so stay tuned for the latest information and update on this latest breaking news story and again guys I'm apologizing for my voice I'm not feeling good I'm under the weather but I'm going to continue to try my best to break the news for you and tell you what's going on Thanks for watching Mr. Arcane Tracker and please rate, subscribe and comment. Have a great day.